from us at 10. It's a one of a kind scholarship opportunity in the state. Down syndrome Alabama handing out five grants to students looking to further their education after high school. Our Shelby Myers in the studio with the story. And Shelby, the ceremony was in Birmingham, but two of the recipients right here from the Gulf Coast. Yeah, they are Byron Illini. Sarah Jepson is from Dolphin Island and Cooper Long is from Fairhope. The two are bringing home a combined $6,000 in scholarship money. The Jake Pratt Scholarship Fund, named after this guy and sponsored by UPS. Today, five students with Down syndrome were awarded thousands of dollars to go toward their college program of choice. Cooper Long of Fairhope taking home the grand prize of $5,000. He'll be screaming Roll Tide in the fall, heading to the University of Alabama in its Crossing Points program. Sarah Jepson, a Dolphin Island native, is already enrolled at the University of South Alabama in the Passages program. She was awarded $1,000 for tuition. Jake, originally from Vestavia Hills, went to Clemson and then got a job with UPS. Because of him, UPS started the scholarship last year. Jake says he's happy to help others live out their dreams, too. So they can go to college and to support them. So if they get their scholarship, they can live out of their dreams and go to college. Melissa Hawkery is the executive director of Down Syndrome Alabama. She says there was a time when college wasn't even an option for people who had Down syndrome. When these students were born 18 years ago, the thought of post-secondary education didn't exist. And society saw that there was a need because what every parent wants is for their children to be independent and productive members of society. And this gives them the opportunity to do just that. To be eligible for the scholarship, each student had to apply, submit letters of recommendation, and write a personal essay. And congratulations to all of this year's recipients. Now, many colleges have programs for people that are differently able. It gives them the tools they need to be more independent, land a job, or explore their interests further than just high school. It's definitely a great opportunity. Live in the studio tonight, Shelby Myers, Fox 10 News.